So we got another hotel video. I just got done with the work day, so a little tired. So it might not be as energetic and I'm not all hopped up on caffeine. So you might lose a little bit of that craziness factor on this one, but uh, this is just something I wanted to bring up. I've seen this before many times. It also propelled me to make that lurker video back then, which I was just trying to kind of uh, coax people out of their shadows with the understanding of why we typically stay in those shadows and don't engage on social media and things like that because of all the things that go on inside of our heads. In that video, I also didn't explain the things that I know or have at my disposal as a content creator. Uh, so beforehand, uh, before creating content, again, I. I was the same way. I, I didn't engage a whole lot. I, I didn't put any comments out there. I just, I just, I love to consume content and relate and get all that stuff uh, with watching videos. But I also strayed away from putting my stuff out there. And so now being on the other side of this, I just want to share with you guys that have never created a video on YouTube. I want you to kind of understand what I know uh, and also what YouTube enforces and puts in place to kind of help keep places safe. Uh, that is not the same as putting yourself out there in the real world when we typically just get beat up and things like that uh, with the things that come out of our mouth and the ideas that we want to share with people. Uh, I just want to kind of enlighten it to the fact that as a creator, I have tools at my disposal to protect all of us. And that's as a host of any channel, um, to me, that should be a priority to kind of keep what you're doing and this and that safe. I mean, you don't want things to just, you know, with anything in life, whether you're making a videos or have some kind of channel or anything like that, uh, you want you want to just keep the, the bad stuff out because it just, it limits uh, forward flow. So there's a, there's a new harassment policy, but I'll just, I'll just read it from the YouTube's mouth of kind of what I'm trying to tell you guys uh, with the kind of tools they give and stuff like it kind of goes into it here. But we know that the comment section is an important place for fans to engage with creators and each other. At the same time, we heard feedback that comments are often where creators and viewers encounter harassment. This behavior not only impacts the person targeted by the harassment, but can also leave a chilling effect on the entire conversation. To combat this, we remove comments that clearly violate our policies. Over 16 million in the third quarter of this year, specifically due to harassment. And this is an automatic feature. This is, has nothing to do with me. It doesn't even get to me. Uh, this is just a Google infused Google's pretty good at tracking stuff, as you guys know, with all the little shopping ads that come across your way that interest you. Um, they're very good at tracking things and filtering things. So without even the comment even getting to me, YouTube has already flicked that comment away, away from all of us. This channel, you guys, everything. It just, it, it doesn't even get to us. So beyond comments that we remove, we also empower creators to further, further shape the conversation on the channels and have a variety of tools that help. When we're not sure a comment violates our policies, but it seems potentially inappropriate, we give creators the option to review it before posting it on their channel. Uh, channels that enabled the feature saw a 75% reduction in user flags on comments. So on, on my page that I see, the behind the scenes of the ch uh, channel's page, there's a whole comment section on there. YouTube with this feature enabled and stuff, it plops comments that a lot of times are not even inappropriate or whatever. They just, it plops the comments in this held bit. Um, so it doesn't actually pop out underneath the video for everyone to see. It goes in this bin for me to look at first. Uh, I read it and then I would just check box it and then it, I just allow it to flow back out to the video. So being on YouTube for a year now, to this day, I've only deleted one comment in my whole time at YouTube. Me actually deleting a comment, I've done that one time. And it came uh, about a month ago and it was actually on that INFP meme video, uh, the, the first one I made. And I woke up that morning to a user I've never seen before. And it was a, uh, the comment was on a meme video. It was like, that's fake and gay. That's all, all they said. That's all they said. It was, that was it. No extra criticism past that. Nothing just that. There's critical comments down in my comment sections. Uh, and I'm okay with that. Uh, but if there's a comment that comes at me or anybody, any of you guys that come, come at you directly saying, you're an idiot or this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. I'm not gonna put up with that. 
Uh, I've experienced an extreme amount of bullying in my life, and nowadays I go out of my way to fight against it. It's just really the thing that despises me to the core. I know the underlying reasons why people do it, uh, which helps kind of wrap my head and kind of navigate through bullying without it really affecting me, as much as obviously it did in the younger, earlier years. But uh, when you kind of have all that knowledge, you kind of have more tools at your hand to kind of fight against things like that. Being someone who endured it on a daily basis for years, years and years and years when I was growing up, like just the extreme amount of bullying. Like everyone, you know, everyone has a tendency to get made fun of throughout life and blah, blah, blah. When it's a daily, a daily attack um, and you just really are exposed to those hard times, uh, you really get a, a taste. Well, I do anyway. I cannot stand when anybody tries to bully another person because again, we all are different. And that's the great thing that I enjoy. On this channel, uh, we have all kinds of, People, it's not just INFPs. Obviously, I'm targeting INFPs uh, for with all my titles and just thumbnails and my topics kind of thing. So it's more of a targeted INFP route. Um, but no, we have ENTPs down there, INFJs, ENFJs. Just off the top of my head, those are ones you know I know. But there's there's plenty of other types looking, and, and that's the thing. It's not to say that any type can't relate with any other type. I I do all the functions from all the different letters and the all the stuff on a daily basis. I don't just, I don't sit in an INFP world of only doing INFP things. I use everything to have better success at life because we need to do all those things. The logical things, those are, everything is important in life. I do things more in my preference box better and more natural. I could do them very well, but I also tap into all that stuff. So with that, I am intrigued by just people different than me. Uh, that's something I, I choose to, used um, being around those. I'm not just going to, I only want to be around you INFPs. I do. I enjoy it. Uh, the relating part is fantastic. But at the same time, you should never just try to surround yourself with the exact same person as you because you'll never grow. You're going to have the same, same point of view, but it's great to welcome in different aspects. And, and that comes with just a lot of people that are really in a low point of their lives. When someone's different than them, if, if someone's, you know, a different race or a religion or a different gender, different, you know, all stereotypes I've been talking about, any kind of community or any kind of different thing, you guys get what I'm trying to say here. Uh, but any of those, there's, when I grew, when I grew up in California, I was, it was a huge melting pot down in so Southern California, just all kinds of cultures and just it's it was awesome to be exposed to stuff like that um, but I also was more on the minority side in that area of the world where I where I went to school at uh, so just growing up in an early age I'd never to me you know all the different cultures and things like that are normal to me I, I enjoy it that makes sense to me uh, just having that huge melting pot of all kinds of people and you know moving to Ohio we moved to this really just uh, I don't know if hillbilly is a appropriate term, but I didn't even know places like this existed. <laughs> but um, in in my school, like I, I I moved there when I got to middle school, um, but there was literally one one black person in my whole school. Uh, there was no Samoans, Latinos, uh, Chinese people, nothing. It was literally just a sea of white people, and to me, it was the biggest shock to my whole system. Where I'm just like, what kind of place is this? And in places like that, and all over the United States and world, uh, when you're that densely populated with one culture or race or uh, you know whatever it is, there's a lot of simple-mindedness that comes from that. To where any outsider coming in that that's different than them, they naturally team up and want to attack that person because they're different. I'm not one to be center of attention, but if someone's going to go attack one person and there's a whole huge crowd of them, I'm going to go jump in the way. Because I just, I don't give a, I, I, I will throw myself in front of stuff. And, and that's the whole point of this, this video, I guess I'm trying to let you guys know is that. So, but in that, in that little community, there's, there's heavy racism. You just, no matter where you go, you hear these people saying, blah, 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 this person, this person, this person. And it's just like, to me, it disgusts me. And I just, I remove myself from it. You can't really get away from it. Um, but if you choose to participate in it, then you're obviously part of the problem because you're enabling it. Um, but me, I just, it was such a bad place to me where I, you know, I don't live in a community like that anymore. I'm closer to the big city and everything's more culturally diversified, which I, I enjoy. So you always have that, no matter what, what steps we're going, you know, the things with, 
when we're, 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 you know, the gay communities, they're getting a lot more, uh, it's just, it's a lot more openly accepted nowadays, which um, there's always going to be those pockets of ignorant people that are going to take that different person and they're going to attack them because of their differences, solely because they're, not because they're a bad person, uh, just because they're different, different than them. They look different than them. They act different. They speak different than them. They have an accent, whatever it is. Um, they're going to attack people like that. And it's, it, to me, it's so, so discouraging to see that. And on YouTube, going back into the point of the video, it gets the same way to where we want to kind of naturally stay to ourselves and keep our opinions to ourselves, unless we're passionate about something, then we'll obviously shout, scream into the mountaintops. But uh, generally going through life, uh, we're not superly opinionated type person, unless it really, you know, like I said, affects us. Um, we'll kind of stay more cautious with what we say and the pick we're more choosy with the times we say stuff from starting this channel I want wanted to keep it a safe place. Obviously. I am putting out massive vulnerability from my side uh, It's a very therapeutic type tool for me. Uh, I learned so much from the comment section and everyone who uh, You know commonly engages and even the ones that just quick pass by and some I'm I'm learning so much stuff that just it's like it's amazing to me and I don't want that to stop uh, for any of us, it's not. It's not for me. Oh, Sean, you're just selfish because it's you. You just want no. I want a safe place because in in the real world, it's not that safe. We don't have filters. We don't have this and that. But on YouTube, just so you know, so go, going back. Um, I didn't even finish. I keep I keep not finishing little parts of my conversation. So going back to that one user where I I uh, deleted his comment immediately. I woke up that morning, uh, seeing the comment, com immediately deleted it. Uh, and then block the user. We can, you can block the user, delete the comments. It's quick. It's it's not even. I don't have to call YouTube. <laughs> hey YouTube, this guy's harassing me. I don't have to do any of that. I just literally have to just pick up my phone, hit one button, and then poof, they're gone. They can't engage. They they're they're blocked. They can't do any of that stuff. So the bigger obviously a channel gets or whatever, you receive more uh, attention. You're gonna have more eyes on you. They're people are gonna keep coming. They're gonna keep coming. But you guys. To understand it, I'm kind of the filter for the whole channel. And if you don't think for a second that I'm not willing to protect something that I'm passionate about, because at this point in my life, that's this is like my hobby. This is my this is my passion that I'm choosing to do. I don't do anything. I work. I go hang out with a kid at home, and then I I do YouTube. That's it. That's my life. I don't I don't have all these hobbies. This is it. So this is my passion. I really see value for a creative outlet for me and also being able to potentially help others and things like that. And if you guys read anything about an INFP being passionate about something, it's it gets pretty intense on the whole protection front, you know what I mean? So it's like, I'm not just gonna let that die because a couple bullies decide to stop by every once in a while and try to take down the comment section and be this toxic little virus in there. And so with that one commenter that I, I blocked an user, uh, immediately that same day, what what I do, <laughs> what I did, was I started working on INFP meme video too, <laughs> because, like, I just I don't get I don't get stalled out by stuff like that. I just have this thing to just keep going. I just I hate when someone stalls you out. It's just and so I don't want them to stall you guys out. I don't want if you're if you're touched by a video from any content creator and things like this. And for the creators that don't know they have this ability, uh, you have this ability, and it's in your power to protect your own channel. And those in, involved that comment and things like that. Obviously, as you guys know from my track record on YouTube for the last year, I'm very much engaged. I don't pop a video out loosely and just all of a sudden, you know, go about my weeks and months and all of a sudden the whole comment section just erupts with whatever happens down there. I typically respond to every comment I get. I'll acknowledge it in some way, shape, or form, uh, whether it's a heart, like, or, you know, uh, most of the time it's a response. It's a le legit response of an, a thing because if anyone takes the time to comment on my channel, I feel that uh, the least I can do for that, for, for them showing their vulnerability and bravery to put themselves out there, um, I look at comments a lot deeper than most, you know, that some people might look at it. Okay, this, just, this person just put a comment. I understand how difficult it is for us to do something like that. So when someone does put something down like that, um, I, I just, I put it on a higher level to where I I really just super appreciate it and it's it's a really awesome feat of someone supporting another person. And that's the thing with the comment section. They're not even just for me. I mean, it's yeah, I'm the one that puts the video out there to kind of set the stage 
um, for communication or whatever. But that's the thing. It's like I I love going down there and you know there'll be a couple comments but then you'll just you can go down there and you can just see other people trailing off into their own comment conversation completely without me involved or anything i still see them but it's just like two people come off a video onto a comment and then they start spidering out and then they have their own form of communication um and and i get to see all that and like i can get pieces through that that i relate heavily to and i i would never want that to be suppressed because then i i miss out other people that come to the channel, they start reading, they see the same kind of comment thread. They get valuable, relatable information that's very helpful and stuff like that. But yeah, I mean, I've seen it so much to where people will comment and they'll even, they'll hide their comments. They'll put their comment, a comment they really want to say, instead of putting it on that video, they, they'll put it on another one or they'll post it and, you know, that comment will, you know, I'll get that comment to my email or whatever so I kind of know what was said or whatever, but they'll put this comment that's super valuable, that can be super valuable to other people if it's read, but they they will delete it because of that fear. But it's like, I see all this where there's people that sit on the edge and they just, they I know they want to interact. Uh, not everybody, I get that. Um, no obligations to interact, but there are people that are sitting on the edge of their seat where they see something and they want to say something because I see proof of it with someone posting a comment and then quickly deleting it. Or like I said, hiding it under somewhere else where it's like, Hey, I want to say something, but I want to say it there because I feel like someone's going to attack me. You just got to understand your audience you're, you're with. They're, we're all INFPs. Well, not all of us, but the majority is INFPs here. And we all kind of get each other. Uh, we're all going to you know, view things differently and things like that and have different opinions on things. But um, just know that your audience is going to, if you throw something out there, it's more times than not going to be caught with some kind gloves that is going to be a fun, relatable thing. Whereas if you didn't put it, that conversation is never going to happen. So that's what I'm just trying to encourage, really. I don't take this stuff lightly. This is not, I mean, YouTube for some, it's like, no, YouTube's dumb. It's just, it's whatever. Putting videos out there, it doesn't mean anything. It means a lot to me. At this point in my life, I'm not saying I'm going to be some YouTube grandpa at 75 years old. <laughs> but at this point in my life, I am heavily engaged on it. Like I said, all the... My phone, I'm, I'm a phone junkie to where I need to learn how to detach more with phones. Uh, but I just, I love consuming information. So not, I'm not sitting there on YouTube every five seconds, but it's more of a, I just, I love consuming information and just learning more things in life, just whatever it may be. So I'm, my phone is not something I just put over on the table for days or whatever. I, I'm, I'm constantly kind of engaged with it. But again, Every time I get a comment, it pops up on my phone. So I get to see it and I can, and YouTube gives me those abilities. And there's a lot of, I'm kind of reaching out, I guess, uh, for extra help with all you guys. It's just, again, to keep us all safe. It, who cares about me? I'll be fine. But I want you guys, most importantly, to stay protected and be able to just, you guys see me making videos. Obviously, I've reached a stage in my life where I, the vulnerability thing, I'm getting more comfortable at. And if, People want to attack me. They're always, and that's the thing you got to understand. No matter what you do, they're going to attack you. They're going to come. They're going to say something. But once you master that and get a little bit better at it, then you can kind of openly do more stuff. So I'm trying to encourage more of that, just baby steps. You know what I mean? You're, you may very well not ever put yourself on a YouTube video or any kind of thing like that, which I never thought in a million years I would have ever done that. But taking baby steps to essentially, you know, put yourself out there a little bit, engage in other conversations. Even if it's not like a top comment, if you want to, read other comments and go underneath them to where it's a little bit more disguised, you can engage in a conversation with another a commenter. Um, and don't be scared of that, because it, it, trust me, and, and another thing to understand is, going back to the very beginning, I am targeting INFPs. Um, I saw somewhere, I think it was on the HSP experience with Steve. Uh, I, I tried to look back before I filmed this video and try to find it because I really liked how he phrased it. He basically talked about uh, he views YouTube as more, it's, it's somewhat like a library. Um, and people that are looking for a certain topic, they're not gonna go down your aisle. You know what I mean? It's, it, there's mi billions and millions of, of videos on YouTube. So it's, it's actually bigger than you guys think with how much stuff goes on and how much is uploaded every day and things like that. You're not gonna have the far off, our shadow difference types and our opposites and all this. They're not gonna be seeking INFP channels. It's just, it's. I'm not saying they can't, but I'm just saying if you think about it, they're not, they're gonna be looking for their own stuff. You know, it, it, it's a place where to find a little niche where I've, I've made a very tight niche with what I'm trying to target. And obviously it's very well seen that it's INFPs.
um, because it's what I live my life through and know the most about, and I just enjoy researching it, and I just I feel that I can possibly just help people relate with my perspectives on life. It's not going to relate to everybody, uh, but it's just something I feel I could talk about. But when when someone does come in, and, uh, and also a reminder, all INFPs, there's plenty floating around this channel, I guarantee it. Not Just because we're an INFP does not mean we're some pixie fairy that has no issues. We obviously experience the extreme low times, and if you're in a very, very dark, deep place, uh, an INFP can turn to be a very outwardly nasty person. For anyone who's offended by that, <laughs> it is what it is, but it's the truth. And uh, we're not, we don't get some get out of jail free car for being this innocent little damsel in distress who has no issues because we can be extremely moody and <laughs> with any type, there's very, very developed positive uh, examples. Um, there's extremely low ones. There's ones in the middle. Um, every type is not immune to highs and lows of people. So don't think for a second, just here, we're here and there's not a bad INFP in the mix. But if there is one that chooses to outlash and take their negativity that they have inside of themselves and deflect it out into my comment section, on my channel, then I assure you all that until I decide to go away from YouTube, I will protect that with everything I got. I'm gonna I'm gonna use my tools that YouTube gives me. Um, if I use, if I block that user and they decide to use their negative energy to go make another channel and come back and try it again, I'm just gonna click the button again and they go away. I don't engage with these people. I'm not gonna give them any satisfaction. I'm not gonna sit there and just well, why do you feel this way? Like let's talk about it. No. If it's, if it's a critical opinionated comment with some kind of substance, then I'll entertain leaving that there. But if it's just a quick shot that- Sean, you're, you're dumb. You're an idiot. This is the worst thing I've ever seen in my whole life. If it's gonna be some kind of shot like that, when all I'm doing is just trying to share, uh, I'm not gonna stand for it and I'm not gonna entertain it. So it's gonna be a click, click, bye bye. And it's, it is, it's good for all of us. That's the whole point. So um, if for whatever reason, if you guys are floating around, this is where I ask kind of your help as well. And again, as the host, I'm required to do the heavy lifting. Uh, you guys can just sit back and relax. I, I get that part of it. I'll do the heavy lifting, but just if you guys ever run across a comment that may may have slipped through my fingers or whatever it is, which again, it's, it comes across my phone on a daily basis. I see them all. But if, if you guys see somewhere where you're floating around reading, because we obviously like to read and I go in the comments section a lot myself, but if you guys find a, uh, if you guys find a comment that is uh, distasteful, uh, something that bothers you, uh, just throw it my way. Just say, hey, on this video, this and that, uh, we can delete your comment after I see it, um, completely to take it away to where you didn't tell on somebody. But it's as, as important for you as it is for me to keep this whole channel because I'm, I'm just, why can't we have a safe place to go congregate to? I mean, you know what I mean? We're already in, out in the, out in the open world. We, we can, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to fit in at times. So why can't there be a place where we can just all congregate safely and just let our hair down unless you're bald or whatever, but uh, you know what I mean? Just, just let it out. Um, and that's what I'm trying to really foster and encourage. And I, again, like I tell you guys, I'm gonna do my part uh, to keep it a very clean atmosphere to where we don't have that one or two people that stop by every couple months and just ruin it for all of us. <coughs> I'm not gonna stand for that. And it just, it doesn't make any sense. Why would someone allow that to happen if you have controls at your fingertip to, to you know, to, to mediate that, so. I don't know if I made all my points, but I just, I just, I want this channel to be extremely culture, I want everybody. I want every race, religion, uh, all the types can come by. I don't, I, I want it all because that is really what life is about. Um, I'm not gonna delete all the opinionated, critical, like on the line comments. Um, when there, there, there's some of you guys out there that kind of flirt with the line. So I'll, you know, some of those will stay, but again, to this day, I've only deleted one comment personally. I've only had to do that once. Uh, and I'm prepared to, if they start flying in after this video. Oh, I'm just gonna hit more. That's fine, I just, a click of a button doesn't take any time off my day. I just, I just click it, I can click it like 10 times, 15 times a day, it doesn't bother me. Um, but with those ones, you know, they're gonna quickly be blocked and it's just, uh, if that person wants to do that, then it's just two clicks and uh, case solved, so. All right, long video, sorry. <laughs> I just, uh, I just, I just want everyone to be comfortable, so.
So if you guys can help be on the lookout for your fellow commenters and people that put themselves out there and just understand it's an act of bravery and courage to do something like that. And I just want to protect that. So if you guys can help me, uh, I'd appreciate that. Um, but again, for the most part, don't spend your days rooting around trying to help me. Because again, to this day, I've seen every single comment. So uh, that's on my shoulders. So don't, don't worry. I'm just saying going forward, if you ever just happen to see one don't look for them just if you if you happen to run into one just you know let me know hey this is this ain't cool there's kind of some weird stuff going on here yeah so i don't know 